All right. Welcome, everybody. Uh, my name is Dylan, and this is the second video uh, in the Unfound Anamnesis YouTube channel. And before you ask the question to yourself, I'll come right out and say it. Yes, uh, I'm wearing my shirt inside out. So fun fact, um, in, in the First Nations, there's a tribe called the Lakota tribe. And in every Lakota tribe, there exists someone that they call an Aoka. And the Aoka's job is to be the cosmic clown. They, they speak in tongues. They speak backwards. They would ride their horses backwards. They would wear their shirts inside out. They would laugh at funerals. And their job would be to poke holes in society and poke holes when people started taking themselves too seriously because, hey, this is just a cosmic drama that we're all playing a role in. Um, so when I take myself too seriously, like getting nervous about these YouTube videos, I wear my shirt inside out, or I'm going to start wearing my shirt inside out, it's the second video, um, to be like, hey, Dylan, no one cares. Not a lot of people will watch this, and it's just me expressing myself. So that being said, we're going to jump into this video. And uh, if you stay to the end of this video, you will get a free quiz that you can take to help you see where would you exist in the world of Bastunia that we're creating. And for people that just came to this video channel, like this is the first video I'm watching. What the hell are you talking about, Dylan? Um, my first video, watch it. Uh, we talked about the unfound anamnesis, how it's come to be and where we are going with the first world in the unfound anamnesis called Bastunia. It was put together by me and my good friend and partner, Matt Emery. You're going to hear from him as we move forward as well. Um, where was I? Oh, well, that's what we're doing. And um, in this video, we're actually going to talk about what I, what I call the power of three, where I, I give to you three paths and I propose to you three questions. Each of the questions has why at the end of it. So really it's like six questions, um, but it's gonna help you start to, one, ask yourself some philosophical questions. There's some, hopefully some thought provoking questions about yourself, um, your history and where you're going. Uh, and two, it'll help you kind of see where would you exist in this world. So that being said, get ready to get a little philosophical. Uh, what I ask for you in this video is just your presence. Um, if you can come to your breath, that would be great. If you can not be distracted, that would be great. It won't be long. I promise my voice is okay to listen to. Um, I'm going to give you my presence as well. Potential trigger warning. Uh, I'm going to be using the word God. Uh, in this. So when I use the word God, I don't view God as a, as a man with a big white beard kind of overlooking us and seeing what we do every single day and judging right and wrong. I like to use the word God because it's short. And to me, it symbolizes some existence, like it, 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 some big cosmic presence um, that I'm part of. What I'm going to do, first and foremost, is I'm going to share with you three paths. And I want you to listen to each of the paths. Take notes if you want. I have some questions that follow. All right. Path number one, man or woman, wake or they wake up and uh, he steps outside and he takes in all of existence. He sees the world for what it is. He, he sees everything that he's been given in this life that God has given to him. He sees all the resources of this world. He sees the mountain. He sees the ocean. He sees the trees. He feels the wind. He looks around and he sees all of these great societies that have resurrected themselves throughout time, all throughout the world. He looks at his own human body, his mind. He looks at the community and the network that he has, his friends, his family, those close to him. Takes it all in and he's just, utterly curious, looks around and says, wow, thank you. Thank you, whoever's out there for this. This is incredible. This is a gift. What can I make of it? The curiosity kicks in and he says, you have given us me such a great gift. What is it that I can create as a thank you? What is it that I can make that's bigger than myself, that can stand the test of time, live past me? impact future generations how can i how can i write my name in the annals of history and, and stamp my legacy while i'm here that's first path 
Second path. Guy, woman, they wake up, step outside, and he looks around and he's he's filled with joy. He sees everything that this world and God has to offer. All the resources of this world, the mountains, the tree, the ocean. He feels the he feels the wind. He 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 looks and realizes that there are societies, there are cultures, there are countries, there are continents, there are religions all around this world of different people that have a different way of viewing this world. He looks at his own human body, his mind, his emotions, his soul, his his network, his community, the people around him, his friends, his family. He was blown away. He says, wow, whatever it is out there, God, thank you so much. I appreciate this gift. And he's filled with nothing but wonder. And he says, thank you. How can I understand this? And how can I understand you more? How can I, how can I constantly push myself outside my comfort zone, physically, mentally, spiritually? Because when I do that, I know I get further away from who I am and closer to you, and we're in conversation. I understand this world more, and the more we're in conversation, the greater I feel, the more I can learn, and the more I can grow. That's second path. Third path. Guy, woman, they wake up, and he steps outside. You know, you know the drill. He takes it all in says, thank you, this is incredible, God. Sees the resources, the mountains, the ocean, the trees, the breeze, cultures around the world. His human body, his mind, his soul, whatever. He looks around and he sees his community, his network, his friends and his family who he has an incredible affinity to. He loves them. And he, in this case, he's filled with nothing but love, not curiosity, not wonder, but just nothing but love. And he says, wow, God, thank you for this. Thank you for what you've given me and every person in my life. I love it. How can I preserve this? How can I protect this great gift you have given me and more importantly, the loved ones in my life? I'm thankful. They're grateful. And I'll do whatever I can to stand for myself and them um, and, and show my love through the preservation of what you've given us. Thank you. Those are the three paths. Okay. Quick summary for those of the people that dozed off. Uh, first path, we all see, everyone sees existence here. First path, guys filled with nothing but curiosity and says, what can I make of this? Second path, guys filled with nothing but wonder and said, how can I understand this? And the third path, guys filled with nothing but love and says, how can I preserve or protect this? So here are my three questions that I'd ask you. And feel free to pause this video as we go throughout. Question number one, what path do you feel you're walking right now? And why? Throw it down into the comments. What path, question number one, what path are you walking right now and why? Pause. Take time to write. Take time to think. Pause the video. Just in case you didn't pause. Okay, question number two. What path do you feel you were born into? We don't have a lot of control when we're born. We come into this world. We have the, the people in our lives that we have that raise us and everything that happens. What path do you feel you were born into? And why? Okay, pause. Third question. Write some things down. Third question. Let's say, humor me here, you're sitting up in existence before you choose to come down to this world. You're sitting with God, the other cosmos, however you, you view God, male, woman, they, anything, I don't care. Um, and you're chatting with God. God's telling you of these three paths. And you, you say, hey, well, 
I'm getting ready to go down to earth, right? Like very soon. My parents are down there scrumping right now. And apparently my name is going to be insert your name. And I'm going to be born into this earth. I'm going to grow up and grow old. I want to walk one of these paths so true for my entire life so I can fully experience that one path, live it in its utmost joy. And guess what, God? From what I'm hearing and people come back, I am going to forget that path because there are things down there called society and religion and government and business or the account, whatever. There's a bunch of things that are going to that are going to take me from this path. But I want to remember this path and I need your help. I need you to give me something, fashion something for me. So every time I look at it or every time I touch it, my favorite rock, by the way, um, it reminds me of the path that I want to walk. I need that. God, you know, rubs something together and gives you this is my favorite rock. So there you go, name. Uh, take this down. Anytime you touch this, uh, you will be reminded of the path you are there to walk. What path would you choose? And why? Those are your questions. You know the three paths. Questions are, what one do you think you're walking down right now? Which one do you feel you were born into? Why? Why? And if you were to come into this world again and walk one path for your entire life and never stray from it, which one would you choose and why? I'll give you my answers in the next video. Um, I'll tell you why I'm asking you this in the next video. And you will learn more about Bastunia in the next video. But for now, that is your homework. Um, if you are someone that's not typically more of like an auditory learner and you'd rather like read something out, um, I will. we will put a link to a quiz um, in, the, in the comments. So you can, you can take the quiz and get a better idea of uh, what path that you would walk. That being said, thank you so much uh, for taking the time, watching all this, looking at me in my upside down or inside out shirt. Uh, again, my name's Dylan. You're going to hear from my partner, Matt Emery, soon. This is the Unfound Anamnesis, and you're about to learn about Bastunia in our next video. Stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe, follow us on Facebook. We're doing a, a, a Facebook group for a really short period of time just called the Unfound Anamnesis. If you know me, reach out to me. I'll send you an invite. Um, but with that said, until next time, take care.